there's a problem right now when it comes to Nintendo and takedown notices on Tumblr. Now, you might be aware of this whole thing. I didn't post about it on Twitter or anywhere else yet, so this is the first time that I'm going to be talking about it directly, but it has to do with something that we value very much on this channel and that all of us see some kind of enjoyment and entertainment in, something that's able to warm our hearts in the coldest of nights, something that's able to give us moments of happiness where we are in the deepest depths of sadness. My friends, you know damn well what it is, porn. You, you, you need porn nowadays in your life in order to be able to take the edge out when you're feeling kind of down. And Nintendo is seemingly, apparently, allegedly trying to impose themselves on this very sensitive, important category of the internet. I need to talk about this whole thing with you guys because it's going to sound ridiculous when we read the title of it. Let's go to the fucking browser real quick. Apparently, Nintendo is issuing DMCA, that's Digital Millennium Copyright Act, I believe, takedown notices for pornographic fan art. You, you, you gotta be niggering me. You gotta be niggering me, Kimishima. Reggie, please inform me. What the fuck is going on here? Is this legitimate? These dudes are legitimately taking down fan art. Pornographic fan art. So people like Akai Riot may be affected by this. One of my favorite artists out there. And an innumerable amount of other artists out there as well that make content which is on the more risque side involving Nintendo characters. This doesn't even seem like it's possible, but we are in 2016, and in the age of 2016, and this is an old individual age, because it seems like 2016 has been one of the most explosive years in recent history, let's take a look at exactly what this article is, and of course, I'll have this bullshit linked in the description so you can check it out for yourself, and have your own eyeballs fucking erupt at how cringeworthy and how fucking anger-inducing that title is, but let's not make any snap judgments. Let's read the article first to see if this is everything that it seems to be. Is Nintendo deadass making it a policy to now go after fan art, which is pornographic in nature? Or maybe not even pornographic. How far does this go? Are they even taking down characters who may potentially be in, like, bikinis, um, dressing scantily, risque clothing? I don't know how far this goes. What are the depths of this pornographic takedown by Nintendo characters? Are they going to come after me, nigga? I, I, I mean, there's character artwork that people have made of me while I was fucking the shit out of Red Robin. I, am I about to catch a fucking DMC at Nintendo? Are these niggas about to send one to me? I don't even draw the shit. Let's see exactly what the hell the deal is. Rumor, Nintendo issuing DMCA takedown notices for pornographic fan art. Fuck me. Let's take a look. So there's an update to this apparently. Gaming Reinvented posted an article last month about how someone without proper authority outside of Nintendo has been issuing takedown notices. Okay, so maybe this is... We can't say that the situation itself is a fake claim as only the company was included in the email and not a specific name. It's enough to cast some doubt on this though and it should be taken with a grain of salt unless more information is provided. If it is a fake claim, then that's a pretty big issue. Tumblr in that case would be removing content without verifying the DMCA sender. So on one hand, if this is real, then you have the horror of Nintendo making it a policy to take down artwork, fan art, creations that are definitely covered under fair use, which portray their characters, which may be their intellectual property, but it's completely reimagined and reinvented by the person who's drawing it out in the first place. That's a horror on one, uh, on one side of things too. And then the other horror is that Tumblr is absolute shit and giving legitimacy to people who aren't even actually officially represented by the companies in order to be able to take down these fucking things with DMCA's. I mean, but then again, Tumblr's always been shit, so you know what, that's not as much of a harrowing reality as it is for Nintendo taking down pornographic artwork of their fucking characters. And, like, I mean, dudes, I don't have to go into goddamn specifics with you as to how much this covers, but just think about it. If anything has a Nintendo character at all, whatever you may be into, whether it's fucking Bowser or Corrin from Fire Emblem, whatever character that you like to, 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 to fucking wet your willy to, or to slick your, to, or to slick your stick, or to fucking poke your, your, poke your donut hole, either way, <laughs> you're gonna be in fucking trouble. Because apparently Nintendo's coming for them artists, man. Well, let's read what the actual article is saying, because that was just an update. Tumblr users are starting to receive notices regarding the removal of fan art from blogs following takedown requests by Nintendo. The company is taking issue with art that is pornographic in nature. Details about the situation beyond this are unclear. However, there's some speculation that art related to Princess Peach is being claimed. Oh, shit! Niggas don't want Princess... They, 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 they goddamn, man! Miyamoto, I mean, it's just some fan art, bro. That's all, like the the post that I think of the most. Whenever I, I like this, this made me immediately think of this post. 
where this dude, um, uh, Miyamoto's Twitter, I don't know, it's not the official Miyamoto, but on his Twitter page, the one that's pinned says, I saw a picture of Mario and Luigi kissing one another online. Please do not do that. This is it. He's making action on his claim now. Once again, this is a fan account, but just how hilariously outrageous this Twitter post was and how popular it got on top of it all with 58,000 retweets and 67,000 likes. It makes me wonder, is Nintendo truly starting to take this philosophy in mind? Maybe this is the real Shigeru Miyamoto. Maybe he doesn't like to see pictures of Mario and Luigi kissing each other online. Or, or fucking um, Princess Peach getting her pussy plowed. I don't know, man. Like, this is crazy. I, I, can't, I can't even deal right now. Let's keep reading. So, if you're interested in seeing the removal email, head past the break. So, let's see. Hi. Oh, I, I like how they started off. You know what? We're here to take down your passion and the stuff that you've been doing, even though it's completely legal. I mean, you're not even selling it, most likely. And even if you were selling it, it's a recreation. I mean, you can't really say that it's official artwork, even if they are characters that are your characters, but it's being completely remade by somebody in a creative way that's totally different from the one that you're doing. So how can you really take claim over that? That's their work, not yours. It's, it's like... It's like fair use involves being able to take someone's work and completely either recreate it or reimagine it or be able to have, add something to it that completely remakes it, you know, that adds different categories to it, that completely transformative, you know? But I feel like porn of your characters, even if they are your official, you know, intellectual property, that counts as it being transformative if there's a porn made of Princess Peach. I, I just got to say, I don't know, man. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hi, anyways, let's continue. Hi, we've received a notification of alleged copyright infringement on one of your blogs. Here are the details of the content in question. The copyright holder, Nintendo of America, fuck me. Description, we are contacting you because Nintendo's IP characters on the profile are being used in a way harmful to the brand and without Nintendo's consent. The use of Nintendo's trademark and characters may confuse consumers into thinking the content is sponsored or endorsed by Nintendo? The profile's offensive content may further lead consumers to have a negative or weak opinion of Nintendo and the mark and characters. The content has since been removed in accordance with the US law and Tumblr's own copyright policies. It's important for all creators that our users respect copyright. Are you niggering me right now? This can't be real, dog. I don't want to believe it, man. I don't want to live in a world. I don't want to be part of a society. I don't want to be involved in a fucking establishment in an industry which takes down artwork based upon if it's pornographic or not because it uses maybe one or two characters from a company like Nintendo. This is just not right. I don't like this, man. This is already rubbing me the wrong way, man. And, you know, some of you may say, oh, you fucking pervert. You only give a damn because, you know, you, you, fucking, you fucking like them hentai characters. You jack up all day. Regardless of if that's the case or not, this is clearly a step over fair use. And this is going to be something that if this is officially accepted and this is made a thing where porn can't be made just because it may use some characters, even though you're doing your own recreation of the characters, then I feel like this is going to set a disgusting precedent for fair use in the future. And one thing that we all gotta do is protect fair use because it's one of the only things that's allowed us, the little guy, the content creators, to be able to safely do what we do best and to celebrate and praise the companies that we love without us getting our fucking dicks crushed by them in the process. Granted, I remember there was that thing with Blizzard where they were taking down SFM porn of their characters, but I think it was a little different because the SFM porn that the porn makers made was with the official models from the actual Overwatch game. I think that they actually like converted them over and maybe Blizzard released the um, SFM models at one point and they're using those exact same models to create the porn. So maybe that's a little bit more tricky territory because the models themselves are complete rips. But at the same time, they're being used in completely 100% reimagined, reinvented ways. So I think the only way that we're really going to be able to see a precedent set on this is if somebody has the money, the ball sack, and the gusto to go to the court toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of these companies which is trying to claim that porn shouldn't be made with their characters and win a victory for fair use and set a precedent from now on that makes it known that companies can't come after the little guy, the individual artist, the fucking the SFM fapper for making artwork or porn of his character in his own way with his own unique additions to it and fear copyright. Like That's the only way that I can see this happening. Because until we have a court precedent or some kind of legal battle 
there isn't going to be anything to go off of, and it's going to remain a completely gray area. So you know what? I'm looking for a hero right now. Who's willing to go to court? Who's willing to fight for this? Who's willing to make a stand? I want to know in the comments, are you going to be the one to fight the good fight? Are you going to be the one to go to court to be able to make that stand and to make that policy known that we will not accept people that are going to put their dictatorship on top of us just for the sake of some Princess Peach porn? Good God almighty, I need a hero right now. And if you are the man for the job, you the woman for the job, if you are the whatever the hell you may want to define yourself as for the job, then please, by all means, let us know in the comments because we need a motherfucking hero right now. The world could use some more heroes, you goddamn right tracer i'll talk to you niggas later peace